Hi guys, welcome to another one of our how-to and information videos and today we're going to be looking at how you to change a, your cooker hood filter just in case you're unsure about how to do this and what's involved. Yeah. Well, in some kitchens you'll have something like that, stainless steel or whatever, touch the ceiling. You might even have your cooker hood uh, extraction unit built into a cupboard and you pull it out, open it up and it turns it on. Uh, they all have something like this at the bottom of it and you either drop this down or just take it out, we've taken it out for your use here. So we bought this uh, universal two pack uh, grease filter and charcoal filter. So the grease filter is as what it says it does, it catches the grease as, it, as your extraction fan sucks it up. The charcoal filter stops smells as we know. That's this is from Amazon, won't it? This is from Amazon. Yeah. It's about six pound. Uh, Electro Park quality guaranteed uh, universal fit. Um, let's have a look, see what we get for our money. So, if you do need to, as I said, if you do need to replace your cooker hood and you're just sort of trying to find out what's involved in it, then um, hopefully this video is some two use parts. to you. So, it's, yeah, it's a two part universal. product. You simply cut it. So. And as, as, as you said, it, as it being universal, you obviously, oh, you do get quite a lot of it. Wow. Well, do probably do two replacements for that, you know. So it would be sensible, unless we can get it like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, position it there. And I'm going to... My knees, I think, will be best. I'll position it where I need it to go. And I'm going to fold it back there. You can see what I'm doing. So I fold it back where it needs to finish. I'm simply going to crease that. Now, and there's a line there. Let's see how easy this is to cut. So you probably get out of this one piece here three. I think you could get three out of it, yeah. Easy. One, yeah. two, three. It's quite good value for money. So how much was that? It's about seven pounds. So for seven pounds you'd now, I know get three replacements. Just sort of wiggle a bit so you can just hold it in. I mean obviously this is our cooker hood. Yeah. But yours will be di different but the pro the the process is basically the same. Yeah. Pretty much. It's apparently. Uh change its colour. So it has a saturation indicator. So when it's all red in between those lines, so it's just like a solid red. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it has, has like red lines. And obviously when it's solid red, it's, it needs, it needs, replacing. It needs replacing, it's so you just it. cut another bit. So, so you need to turn that down facing the floor, basically. Yeah, where the uh, where the cooking things would come through, because obviously this is upside down at the moment. Now, if you've got a charcoal filter with it as well as we have, you put the grease filter in first. Okay. And then the charcoal filter. Now I'm guessing. Ah, oh, now hang yeah. on. The important thing to know about this kit is: is that char is that literally just the size of it? Yeah. So you get a lot of the main filter material but I'm guessing the charcoal gets changed less because this is protecting it just protect it so that's that big one there is the grease filter is protecting this charcoal filter so you don't need to replace that, exactly that the same so much again. fold it where I want it and just crease it down the line level it up by just squaring those ends up at the side Cut it. Uh, fairly easy to cut, a bit like felt to be honest, this stuff. And then this just sits on top. I don't think it matter which way that goes, that's basically it. And I've got a couple of these lovely contraptions which hold it all in. And yours will be similar. Sure. I think you just Put them in like that, yeah. Basically, do that. And that's basically it. That's basically it, guys. So, when that's in your 
extraction unit there, be able to see it. Uh, when it needs to change, it could be solid red. But that was straightforward enough. That's easy enough. So, as we said, if you are thinking about changing your cooker hood filter, you're just a little bit unsure, um, then we hope this video is helpful yeah, to you. So, also you need the filter kit. So if we get a, a thing of that, so you might want to purchase this one, you might want to purchase another. So this is Universal Cooker Hood Filter, Electric Park, Quality Guaranteed. Um, and it, Order code FLT2178, electricpark.com, uh, easy to cut. Um, when I was looking around, it had the best reviews. I can put a link. I'll put a link to this in the description as well, in yeah. case you do did want to buy this one. Um, it does help because otherwise, all the grease will go in your extraction unit and everything can go into all, on the fan fan money. blades and it all Potential in the fire all in the ducting as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was good value for money. That's what I thought anyway. I guess you could use this somewhere else, but who knows what for? Do you know what? <laughs> Guess what that smells like? What? Charcoal. Does it? Funny old thing. It's funny that it smell of that. Anyway, if we've helped you to keep your extraction hood clean, can you help us along a bit and subscribe to our channel, please? It'd be appreciated. Thank you. Thanks for watching.